and welcome to the huddle. Liam Santa Maria back with you after what was a wild round of NBL hoops. Close games, a lot going on right around the league. Tell you who didn't have close games though, the New Zealand Breakers. <laughs> whacked Adelaide, whacked Tasmania, three-game winning streak on the top of the ladder. And uh, one of the guys who is kicking butt right now is Jarrell Brantley, their new import power forward. And he's joining me on today's show. So sit back, relax. Up next, Jarrell Brantley. Jarrell, what's happening, man? Thanks for joining the huddle. What's up? What's up? Thank you for having me. How, uh, how are you enjoying life in the NBL? No, I like it a lot. Very competitive. Um, I actually like New Zealand a lot. Um, so it's been ble- been a blessing. We got great teammates, great staff. So it's been a great journey so far. Matt Walsh, Murdy Mayor, have they hooked you up? Are you in a nice spot? Can you see the water or some, some yeah, landscape? Yeah, I got that's what I'm looking. I'm looking out right now. I got a nice little view right on the water. So like far, I'm like five minutes from the water, but where I'm where I'm sitting is like great view of um a side of New Zealand. So it's definitely beautiful out here. Nice. And uh, you got the family here too. That always helps. Yeah, definitely. I need them with me. For sure. Mate, uh, top of the table. It's all coming up New Zealand right now, despite what's been a really tough schedule. How's, um, I mean, I'm going to ask, how's the vibe amongst the group? The vibe's great. You guys are playing really well, but you must be super pleased with the way you've been playing in recent times. Yeah, definitely. Um, since day one, I was thinking about it today, actually, from the first day I got here. Like, I got, I, I landed, and the next day, the Modi gave me, like, a few hours to relax. And then the next day, I came into practice. I mean, we came into a workout, and it was like I had been here for two weeks. He just, we just jumped into workouts. Like, it was like, and that, since then, it's kind of been that thing, just cutting off fat, seeing how we can get better. Um, Modi's a mastermind, and what he sees and his staff, they do a good job of putting together scouts. and. Our guys, we just kind of try to buy in, um, and then we got a good unit. So, just um, I think the beauty in it is, yeah, we're playing well, but we felt a lot of adversity um, so far in this early part of our season, even through preseason, um, with how much we had to work, our grind, our journey. So, like I think the best thing I say about our unit is just I know that I can depend on those guys, and I'm sure they can say vice versa, no matter what we face. How have you been able to to develop that as a unit so quickly Modi Modi's always when he goes into the press when he talks to the media he talks about how I love my guys he talks about the buy-in he says we're all on the same page with the one goal that's you guys have many this is a very new team I think it's maybe like seven new players like how have you been able to develop that so quickly yeah I mean since like I said day one we came in we had a meeting um and we put our we put everything right on the table um and I think for us, for us, that was big. I mean, if you look at the guys on our team, like just for one example, we talk about Robbie Lowe. Um, you know, I'm not completely caught up with the league, but you can tell Robbie's had a up and down in the NBL. And so many guys, so many people talk about Rob this year. And it's like, I think that makes up our team. Um, I had a struggle, like I had a struggle last year. Didn't play as much as I wanted to um, for me in this instance. And I think that is our team, but we all are dogs in that we're all super talented and creative so you got a lot of dudes who wanted a new shot a fresh start with a new coach Mm -hmm. I mean I think and and everybody's counting us out a bunch of guys with chip on our shoulders I think that's like a good recipe right there in its own nice um hey talked about a little bit of the adversity obviously you had Tom Abercrombie the captain the spiritual leader Mm -hmm. the veteran go down in in preseason that was rough he's coming back soon if he can what's he got like a gas bubble in his in his eye yeah yeah man tom is a warrior and in this short time of me knowing and seeing him he's a warrior even when he's been in the back he's just been a constant voice for us but um yeah he's practicing with us um i mean tom's tough and i and it's obvious what he's done for this league already but yeah Mm -hmm. having him back another versatile defender versatile offensive player for us is is good Um, but the the schedule you just finished six games in 15 days you had a stretch there that was four games in nine days, which was which was the, the last one of those was that game in, in Cairns where mm-hmm. you, you equaled a record for scoring only five points in the first quarter and yet you still won the game, uh, which, was a, which was a beautiful thing. Like this, the, the, 
how have you been able to man? Like, I, I would imagine you guys have barely practiced together over the past two weeks. Yeah, but we, yeah, now we haven't practiced as much, but we're, I'm, I'm telling you, man, the coaching staff, Modi, they do a good job making sure that we stay locked in um, on scout, on our focus on what we're looking for. We're, we're really looking, we're, and like credit to our, our guys for being able to implement it, but it's a lot of detailed things. Um, we go out and try to, um, you know, succeed in so it's been good to do but like I said when we talk about our schedule we had preseason and Modi was like we're gonna work this hard and this is why we're gonna work this hard and, right. we, and like showed our schedule we we dropped it out and we looked at it and I mean but like at the same time like we got guys who really want to be in there and really work and and you know we know um the challenges we face um so even when you think about the travel New Zealand has to travel the longest all of these things like they're in the back of our minds. Um, but when you step on the court, you got to give what you can. Um, and and credit to M, M knows and Joshua, Jono, like they keep us prepared. Um, they give us a platform in order to follow. And it's our, it's our job to go follow. Now, it's all good news around you guys at the moment with, with Tom Ab coming back and you guys winning games and being on top of the ladder. And But when you did look up at the scoreboard at quarter time in Cairns, and you saw you saw five points on the board. What what were you thinking? Yeah, but if you go back and you look at that game, like I had a few sh- like the first quarter, I had a few plays right around the rim. Like all the possessions that we usually have, we had open catch and shoots, like Great all look. those shots. Yeah. So you're like, keep guarding. And that's what we hang our head on. So mm-hmm. the whole time, like that's why I think that what I credit this team is we're not really paying attention to the media um, in that sense of like what people have to say, especially in the game. We're just worried about next play. We even had a free throw. I think Barry got a free throw in that quarter and he missed the first one. And we all like, oh man. Like, <laughs> when you were still on zero? Yeah. We, <laughs> now he had like, yeah, yeah. We hadn't seen the ball go in yet. And we're like, here we go. <laughs> and so you just keep chipping. You're fighting that. And then he made the second one and it was kind of like, <sighs> like yeah. you just cut for, for our whole team. So, but yeah, like, Defense is where we're going to try to pride ourselves um, every day. That's what that's what travels. And then offensively, we have so much versatility. Eventually, it'll go. And, and you're number one in defensive rating to this point as a team. Obviously, it's a tiny sample size, just almost a quarter of the season. But um, now we knew this coming in about you guys defensively. Like he when he when he signed you, he said when Modi signed you, he said, Liam, you're going to love my power forward. He's a walking mismatch offensively, and he's a defensive player of the year candidate. He, and he knew Barry was going to be a defender. And Derek, obviously, we're going to talk about Derek because I've fallen in love with the way Man. that guy plays. But then you go with Rayan, and he's, he's, a, he's a nightmare. If he, and he's guarding the ball. He's guarding the point guards. Game in, game out. Leafa's a tough defender. Um, where do you guys think – I mean, you're number one in defense, but – I almost feel like you, you're still getting ramped up even at that end of the floor. Yeah, no, I think creativity is is limitless when you think about our defensive sides. And, I mean, you bring Tom back uh, and just what he can do for us defensively, our versatility there. Um, I mean, man, defensively win, defensive win games. And for our team, we can be super special with a lot of guys. <laughs> that's Gabriella. Sorry, yeah, that's my daughter. But, <laughs> yeah, defensively, man, that's what we hang our head. We got so many guys. I don't want to give too much away, too many mm-hmm. secrets. <laughs> but, like, yeah, when you look at the list, Derek Pardon. I mean, like, I, I think between our team, and this is not talking. I know media, uh, you know, use so much. But it's we have multiple guys who could be defensive player of the year. And I think within that, you, you don't shy away from it. You, all right, well, let's see how we can put it together. How can we use this to create something special between our unit? Um, and that's, that's really what it is. Find a way to win with the pieces you have and stay together. Because creatively, offensively, we're just as good. Mm-hmm. You could put me at the top of the scout and Isaiah could have a great day. Will mm-hmm. could have a great day. Barry, Derek Parton. So um, there's so many guys. And just being able to use that, and I think credit to our coaching staff to that too. Because So go on. Sorry. Just sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm done. That's yeah, it. yeah. Okay. I was just going to say, you, you look like you're kind of starting to find your rhythm – a bit more offensively, like uh, felt like maybe through preseason, very start of the year, you were working out what were going to be your spots. So it looked like, you know what, let me mm-hmm. take it into the block for starters and get some yeah. work done down there. And, but now it looks like 
all the different elements of what you can bring mm-hmm. offensively starting to come to the fore? Yeah, it'll be, you know, I mean, I'm sure like most players, you want it all in one day. Um, and so in a lot of ways, I have so much creativity. I keep using that word, but I have so much in my game that I could use. Um, but also it's being able to pick pockets. And um, the coaches, they do a good job telling me like, dominate simple, dominate simple. And so for me, that's been one of my things. So how you say, go to the block. That's one thing I've always been able to lean to. Mm-hmm. So after that, you know, and you keep going and day by day. I'm I'm sure we haven't even seen a, a small sample size of who I can really be. And that's just take time. Um, we put no time limit on here. And that's I think that's why I love it here. It's a it's an opportunity and a great space to learn and, you know, go through struggles, but as well as getting better. So it's been special for me here. There's been some talk in recent times uh, over the last week or so. You say you don't, don't pay attention to the media. Well, in case you didn't catch it, there's been talk about trios. There's been talk mm-hmm. about the Adelaide trio. Corey, my man, put it on, on the agenda in a big way. Uh, your import trio, you mm-hmm. and Barry and Derek. Now, you know, like those, they've got some guys that were big, the big names in the league last season, and they got a guy who just put 35 on, on an NBA team in an historic NBA win. You guys feel like just quietly going about kicking butt. Barry coming off the bench, averaging 20 a game. Derek doing what he does. And we'll break that down a little bit more specifically in a moment. But you've got to be feeling pretty good about the three of you and what you guys bring to the table. Yeah, first day. I mean, even before I got here, Modi was excited when he told me about the imports we had. And I had already knew. I knew Derek Parter before I got here. And I knew Barry. We, we had, I had played against them both in different events um coming pro turning pro um and I knew about them um and when you just look at our guys man like like I say preseason like I don't think like these games are tough they're super competitive I love this league but I knew what I was facing because in preseason those those days they're brutal they're battles like between all of our guys we're super competitive um and so iron sharpens iron so when I look to my right and my left when you think about Barry Brown or um, Derek Parton and the rest of our unit, I don't expect nothing less. I actually, I, I know we have more. Um, and so, yeah, we're winning. Um, but no matter what we face, I'm really excited just to see what it can become because these guys are special for sure. You know, when you talk about what you see when you look to your left and you look to your right, I would love to go to battle with Derek Parton. Exactly. I mean, my, my boots have been hang up, hung up for a while, but I, as as a point guard, and you know, you always want to have that combination with your big and the man. He what he does in terms, like I called him today. I, I think he's the best screener in the league. Now he does. There might be guys who hit harder, but his ability to get there on time, every time, multiple times of possession, the perfect angle, and then quick out of it to to the rim, dragging his defender with him, and his talk and his energy and man, he just likes, looks like an unbelievable teammate. Yeah. Nah, he's, he's tough, super reliant um, defensively, offensively, like offense. And I think that's what makes our unit as good as he is defensively. Like he's a real poster. You can't, you, you, you they're going to have to eventually start doubling. Um, and he just, he does so much. He can pass. Um, it's just so many reads. And for me, I love defense. I love being able to, guard multiple positions, being versatile, and having DP behind me, I'm able mm-hmm. to do more. I'm able to gamble a little bit more just because I know who's behind me. Um, and to credit our other two bigs, Sam Timmons and Rob Lowe, like when I talk about everything we've done in practice and preseason, they make it tough. Um, so I think like that, iron sharp as iron. I know DP's mm-hmm. been good um, before he got here, but when I just think about our process, and even Tom Vaughn for me, like our guys don't make it easy for us. so. When we go to war, it's almost like a, a sigh of relief. I also reckon Derek might be the, the best hard show guy in the league. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. he's so quick and he so, makes himself <clears throat> so big, stops mm-hmm. the ball, like makes the ball handle a pit, like hesitate or pick it up. And then as he recovers, his hands are high. He gets yeah. deflections without even looking because he yeah, just does the, the fundamental thing. Long arms, he goes hard. Offensively and defense, when we talk about that, like how you say he's setting screens, but how he, how he edges on ball screens. And him understanding that people are behind him. He does his job. Everybody else is leading by example in your role, starting in your role. I know Modi talks about it often, and that's literally um, what we all try to do. We all are like a small piece to our puzzle and who we're trying to become. So 
it's been special, man. It's, it's definitely dope. Um, yeah, we started off winning. And hopefully we can we could continue, but it comes down with our habits. And I love our habits. I love how we all come to work. Um, we had that long stretch. We, we came straight back to work this week. Mm. Like nothing happened. You know, mm. Zero, zero in our minds. Um, so we can only control what we can. Speaking of roles and buy-in, uh, tell me about Barry Brown Jr., league leading, yeah. uh, not le- team leading scorer at the moment, coming off the bench. Yeah, no, nah, Barry's amazing. He's na- he's a natural scorer. He's wired to score that way. Um, but what excites me so much is just how much he cares. Um, for me, you know, you play with a lot of different guys who like to score, but he really cares. He he really wants to win. Um, and he defends. He tries to defend. Like me and Barry go at it every day in practice simple it's like how it goes and and then for me that's amazing because i'm i I like to do that but at the same time i know who he like it's not a front when you see him on the court and you see all that intensity and all that that's literally who he is on a day-to-day hold on he guys you at practice no 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 but we're usually on the opposite team very can't do i'm gonna say in the block i mean it's over right but yeah, and vice versa. If Barry was on this call, he'd be like, you can't deal with me. And so right. that's that kind of that's that kind of guy that he is. Um, and so it's been special. He offensively scores, but also he's been trying to make plays. Um, and that's beautiful for our team, like him being aggressive, but at the same time, you know, when you see different reads, being able to get off the ball and make the extra pass. And these are all the simple things that we're trying to all get better at for our unit. Hey, you know who else has been really impressive? Um, is is Rayan. Uh, yeah. really young 18 years of age i mentioned like every time i look i look up is him garden josh majet it's him garden mitch mccarran like cutting the head off the snake of these teams getting up and in on these point guards this is an 18 year old kid in a pro league with grown men like what what have what have been in your impressions of him in this early going yeah i love Ru. uh he's he's special um and like I said, we've been going hard, man, since we got here. But at the top of the list, somebody who works harder than everybody else, and when nobody else can deny it, is Ryan Rupert. Uh, huh. Since day one, he comes in, he's in there in the morning before we practice, and then after that, he's the last person to leave. So hmm. it's it's no shock to for us what he's doing defensively. He's so good offensively. He's so good, and he can still you know still keep cutting fat just like all of us. But like, yeah, it's a lot of games that we probably would struggle with if we didn't have Ryan Rupert just because of defensively what he can do. Um, so you, you've been, you've been in the league. I mean, is, is you see that in him? Yeah. I like that in him. And that, and that's, and you can be the way he works is why it is. I mean, you, like you say, he's an 18 year old. If you see how aggressive he is, aggressive he is offensively and defensively as an 18 year old, I don't think I would be attacking grown man. Like I would say I would, but at the same time, he sees no fear. Um, and I think that's everything you need in that type of league, in every league. But, like, he's special for sure. And I think time will only tell. When you get more reps, you get more opportunities to keep growing and getting better. Yeah, he'll shine. Hey, uh, so Rayan is special. You know what else was special? You sharing the floor with your brother. Yeah, man. Crazy. That's history, that's history making stuff. First duo of import brothers to play together in an NBL game. Um, had you played together before anywhere? I mean, maybe other kids. than the, the backyard? Yeah, maybe kids. I think maybe the only thing I can think of at the time is we played AU together when we when I was probably like 12 and he played for like a 15 under team and my team was kind of good. So we just played up in this one tournament and he was on the opposite team. But never, and that's the only time we shared a court in that right. sense, other than like pro am games. But like, yeah, no, nah, this, cool. this special is it's the things you pray for. Um, and the opportunity you came. Pass up. him the ball, though, man. Did you pass he him? He passed the ball? me the ball. He passed me the ball. That's good enough. <laughs> but nah, yeah, nah. I, and hopefully during the year we'll get more opportunities. Um, uh, for sure, that where I can focus in um, on those on those opportunities for sure. But it's special for him to even be around. You know, having my brother here, um, and our family to see it. Um, you know, and as a kid, that's a, these are things you wish for. I grew up watching my brother play basketball. I got a lot of what, who I am from him. Um, so just to be in this same opportunity in the same environment and, you know, compete, special. Even when we go against each other in practice, it's like it's every day. It's like, a, it's like a weird experience, but it's, it's great. Yeah, that's cool. Um, all right, man. So to finish up, um, just kind of like your goals for the season, like for, for the team, 
for yourself for this season, but then also uh-huh. for you kind of moving beyond um, what, what you want to do in the next little while? Yeah, no. Nah, um, for my team, of course, win. I think that's win at the highest level. Uh, but it's also how we do so. You know what I mean? Like when we talk about our character and how our team, how we show, I think there's a there's a way that New Zealand Breaker is supposed to play. We're supposed mm-hmm. to operate as well as win or lose. And so I just want us to carry ourselves in that manner. Uh, and then for myself, you could say uh, accolades and awards, but I think if I just keep chipping away and I just keep going better every game, I'm, it's me versus me. And so um, I, I, I don't want to hang my head on saying it's MVP or defensive play of the year or whatever that may be, because that won't def- that won't define how much more I'm trying to get. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I just want to keep going. And at the end of it, I'll look back and be like, good work. So And then beyond, and then beyond this year, like um, you trying to get back to the league? Yeah, that's where I'm supposed to be. Um, God willing. But at the same time, I'm I'm trying to embrace these opportunities. Like I said, this is one of the most special environments I've ever been around. So, like, I want to maximize this one first. And then if I do what I'm supposed to, I know I'll have the options will come to me. And that's how I kind of want to play it out. Love it. Focused on the here and now. Enjoying the yeah. moment. Love it. Yeah. Awesome, man. Hey, thanks. Thanks heaps for the chat. Great to get to know you a little bit better. We're loving watching what you guys are doing. You guys, obviously, you would have been starting, you would have been learning about this, but man, it's been such a tough couple of years for the for the breakers. So everybody's yeah. loving the fact that you guys, the, the team is playing back home, Breaker Nation's getting behind you. And the fact that you're on top of the ladder is a, just a wonderful story. Long may it continue. So thanks for the chat and, and good luck moving forward, man. Yes, sir. Thank you. Have a good day. Appreciate it.